Hi, it's Gwen and welcome. We are at the final phase. I mean, can you believe it? This is the third demo on this demo. And this is the painting behind me, but it's not quite done. So I'm going to paint on it today and we're going to hopefully finish it. But I thought first what we would do is do a little re refresher course on how it began and then how we started painting and so forth. So that's what I thought might be better because it's been several weeks. So I will see you after that. Remember, we put the design on with uh, charcoal. Then we sprayed the charcoal, and after it had dried, which we did outside, then we came in, and I did all kinds of mark making with pastels, uh, charcoal pencils, regular pencils, colored pencils, whatever I could find, actually. I covered the whole thing. Then we took Gamsol and literally went over that and gave a good background for the design that or the uh, painting that we were going to do. Then I started painting and I used uh, transparent orange. This is an oil. And remember, it was too wet. You can see how it's kind of sliding around. So after it had dried, I came in with transparent orange, put it in the spots that really wanted it, and then added the asphaltum because I wanted the dark shape at the top. Then after that, this is what you saw at the very end. This is where it left off, and it's going to change quite a bit. But don't worry, I will explain it. Hey, welcome back. Now that you've had a little brief refresher course, now we're going to see the next stages of the painting as it happened in still photos. And I will explain every single detail. So after that, we're digging in, and we're going to paint this painting and finish it. As you can see, it's changed quite a bit, but I added whites and creams and darks. And then, because I wanted some shapes and I wanted to bring out the, the orange. And after I did all of this, because I wanted this, I started splashing. You could see the splash on the right side, the lower type. Then I added even more splashes because it needed to loosen up. I didn't like the stiffness. And then I even did more splashes because I wanted to see what it would do. And I couldn't figure out exactly what was wrong. Something was bothering me. And so I expanded the red shape, but I discovered that I did not like the dark. It was ominous. I did not like it at all. So what I decided to do was obliterate it. And I came in with white, took care of all of that. And all of a sudden I'm thinking, okay, I think it's a little happier. But then I wanted to add some more shapes in there, some more darks, but not real darks. Then I took the red shape and I took it all the way up. And I thought, okay, that's good. But I don't like that either for the simple reason it's the same width. Then I added white to that red shape to the right in the middle, kind of up there. And this is where I've left off. This is what we are going to work on <clears throat> because I've obliterated the top. So now here we go. All right, ready to dig in? I am. I want to get this finished because it's an exciting painting. But there's several things that are very, they're just irritating and it's not, it's not done. It hasn't, you know, it's those little things at the end that make all the difference in the world. And remember that when you finish a painting, look at it for several days because that's what it's going to take to really put it together. So now let me get past. This is the painting that we just left off, except I had done a little bit up here, which I'm going to remove because I don't like it. It's in the middle. And we tend to do things like that when we're painting. But now, why don't I like this? I don't like how it ends. I don't particularly like 
this shape. So I'm going to come in and do a little changes. And someone asked, what colors are you using? And I'm going to show you the colors that I'm using. I'm using um, uh, Charvin paint, oil paint. And the colors are going to be diamond, orange, and Indian orange. These are two of the colors. Now, I will use others. And then I have fallen in love with this. <laughs> I've had it for years. It's a Holbein color. It's called Rose Violet. And it's just gorgeous. But it's going to be a contrast. It's not going to be in the, it's in the same family, but it's more pink and magenta. So I think that's what we probably need in order to have this pop a little bit more. So let me get this together and I am going to pull out some paper towels so that I am ready for you. So what I'm going to do here is to put some of this uh, magenta uh, violet, the rose violet on here. Do you see how that That is a very contrasty thing here. I hope you can see that. Since this is a board, it makes it much easier if I can do this on the board. I'm also going to use um, transparent orange because that's one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to use that as well as the Charvet and colors. In a, this is in a Gamblin. Um, the, my transparent orange is in a Gamblin. And yes, I'm gonna go over the magenta, or the, it's not the magenta, it's called Rose Violet. And it's very intense, but it's a beautiful, beautiful color. I would never have picked it. Um, but it was an old one, and I just pulled it out, and I thought, ooh, <laughs> I kind of like this. Now let's take this up a little bit and start looking at it up here. Um, then I'm going to take some of the orange, whichever one works. And we're going to put a little bit of that on the side up here. But I, I'm not sure this is the one that I want. The other thing that I think would be fun, see, it's coming alive a little bit more, I think. But up here is still the problem. The problem child. We always have one in a painting, don't you think? Now what I'm going to do is I'm trying to get a little bit different shape here, and um, I may not be having too good a luck, but we're gonna we're gonna keep going on this until this baby's done. This rose pilot is just so gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. Now I'm going to take out my brush and mix some of the colors up here with some white because I want this to be up here, but I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to be really strong. I want it to be soft, very soft.
Now I have this really, it's, it's a Zoltan brush. It's a Zoltan Zabo brush. And I just love it. I, I found it in my old pile and I thought, wow. I, and I like how it, it helps. Uh, and I'll show you how it does. I like how it's short bristled. Now I'm not disliking this at all. And I'm just gonna kind of come over this and loosen it up. The other thing that I thought we could see if would work would be um, an oil stick, because this is all oil. Now, after I've done that, I'm looking at it and saying, hmm, I would like that softened. I don't care for that that much. So I just take my squeegee. And what this does is it adds a lot of, it breaks up things. It makes it nicer. And maybe I don't want this all right there, but it's kind of cool. Now, what I think I will do is take my wonderful Zoltan brush. You can hear it now. There's going to be a run on Zoltan brushes. This may or may not be it but I'm kind of liking it. And I am being super light with my touch, and I think that is gonna be way cool as far as the colors. Are, this is much better. Now I can take this. It's not gonna show very much because it's, it's still red or orange underneath there, so it's not going to show very much, but it's all, it's going to help bring out. It's just going to show some texture. And then I just lightly, when I get it held right, go over this to kind of push it back a little bit. And I'm thinking that that's not bad at all. Now, what do we do here? Am I worried that I'm going to, quote, ruin it? Well, my saying is you can't ruin what doesn't work. And right now, it's not working. So we're going to just do this, and let's, let's say we don't like that. I mean, I need to step back and look at it and say, do I like it? I kind of do. I kind of do, but I think we need something else. I think we need something going there, like that. Now, why did I do that? Because it's got it out there. We needed to connect the bottom. Mm, excuse me, I had to sneeze. Now, this may or may, may not be done, but it's, um, it's looking better, but I don't care for how that ended up up here. I like it up a little bit more. I think we're probably getting close to the fact that this is as done as it's going to get for right now. But do you guys see 
what I'm saying about this. Now, I may look at this tomorrow and say, oh, why didn't I see that? Yeah, I'm just softening these edges. Making that a little warmer. I'll do a little warmer over here. I think it's much better. I want it to be more alive, and so I think we've done that. Now, will I add more black? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to sit with that and see if I feel like that it needs it. I don't know yet if it's going to need it. You guys can tell me what you think on that, because that would be a really good assignment. Uh, but let me know if this has helped you. But I want to show you some areas that I think are really cool in the fact that I love this over in here. I think it's really cool. Uh, I love the depth, how it, how it goes in and out. It's just, it feels good. This is what I wanted. I wanted depth, I wanted movement, and I wanted drama. And I think what really helped was that odd color of rose violet and then the oil stick. I think that made a big difference. So I hope this has helped. Please let me know if you have any questions on this. We'll do more demos. They're fun. They're, they are. Got to realize, see, we don't know. If, I, mean, I don't know if this is going to turn out or not. It may or it may not. And it's kind of nice to know. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. So enjoy. Leave a comment. I love you. Talk to you later. Next video, I'll talk to you then. Bye.